Hi, my name is Kara June here at Running Warehouse on our CSR floor for today's vlog. Today's vlog is all about shoes, and who better to help me than our footwear buyer, Jonathan Spiros. Thank you, Kara. So today we are first going to talk about neutral shoes that offer maximum features. First shoe is going to be the women's Brooks Glycerin 7, which is a minor update to the very popular Glycerin 6. A slight improved fit to the midfoot has been adapted with this shoe. Again, you get great cushioning with the Glycerin 7 with a hydroflow unit in the heel and in the forefoot, as well as an e-fusion piece loaded in the heel. What you get with the Glycerin 7 is a nice plush ride, and this shoe is available in two colors. Next up, we have the men's Glycerin 7. Has the same great features as the women's Glycerin 7. Again, outstanding cushioning, and this shoe is available in two colors. Next up, we continue with our neutral shoes with maximum features, and we have the Mizuno Creation 10. The most significant update with the Creation 10 is a softer heel unit. So right out of the box, you're going to get a much better feel with the Creation 10. Additionally, with this women's specific shoe, there is women's specific engineered outsole to move better with a woman's foot. The women's Creation 10 is available in just this one color. Up next, we have the men's Creation 10. And again, you get outstanding cushioning highlighted by the Infinity Wave, which provides a great propulsive feel. And here we have a men's specific outsole to work better with a men's foot strike. Next up, we have the women's Kyano 15. The women's Kyano 15 is a maximum feature support shoe. You get great support for overpronation with the Duo Max midsole. Additionally, with this shoe, you get excellent heel cushioning from the large gel unit. And with this particular shoe, you get an asymmetrical fit, which helps you with comfort at toe off. Next up, we've got the men's Kyano 15. One of the main updates with the Kyano 15 is an improved Solite mis midsole material, which you also have on the women's. So you get lighter weight and more durability at the same time. And also a key to the Kyano 15 is the IGS, which is the impact guidance system, which helps smooth out your ride. So both the men's and the women's Kyano 15 are available in two colors. To continue with our maximum featured and support shoes, we are going to move to the Mizuno Wave Nirvana 5. We have the men's Wave Nirvana 5, which is a maximum featured cushion shoe offering outstanding cushioning with an ultra smooth ride and support for moderate overpronation. This support is given to you by a wave piece that is actually a multi-density wave piece, one density on the outside, and a higher density on the inside. Characteristic with Mizuno shoes, you get an excellent smooth ride. Here we have the women's Nirvana 5. Again, same componentry in terms of great pronation control and great cushioning, but new with the women's Nirvana 5 is a women's specific last that is going to work better for a women's specific foot type. So now we're going to move on to lightweight shoes. And the first lightweight shoe we're going to look at is the Women's DS Trainer 14. For the first time ever, ASICS has a women's specific DS Trainer 14, and that is primarily addressed with the women's specific trussic system. The DS Trainer 14 is a lightweight shoe, which is great for faster paced training and even for racing. This shoe is a lightweight support trainer for mild to moderate overpronation. We are now going to follow with the men's. Some of the key updates with the DS Trainer 14 is a lower midsole height, getting you closer to the ground, and a slightly thicker outsole material in the forefoot to give you more cushioning. This shoe is a lightweight support trainer, great for the mild to moderate overpronator. So we're going to look at similar lightweight shoes here from Mizuno. We now have the Wave Elixir 4. So here we have the women's Wave Elixir 4, which again has a women's specific last, which is going to work better with the women's foot strike. And we have a nice low profile, close to the ground midsole 
to give you a much better road feel and a faster ride. Now we're going to take a look at the men's version. Another thing to note with the Mizuno Elixir 4 is a more supportive upper, which is going to help lock down the forefoot to help you with that performance fit that you desire in a lightweight support oriented trainer like the Elixir 4. We're going to move next on to racing shoes. We have the ASICS Hyperspeed 3. This is an excellent lightweight racing flat, great for distances from 5K up to marathon distance, and is the next evolution of the shoe that was worn by Dina Castor and Ryan Hall in the Olympic Trials Marathon. With this particular shoe, you get a slightly wider base, which helps give you an excellent stable platform, which allows this shoe to be extremely versatile for whatever distance you want to use. We're going to move into extremely lightweight territory, and we have the ASICS Piranha 2. This shoe is completely stripped down so that you can run as fast as possible. Extremely minimalistic upper, which is very minor welding to give additional support, and a magic sole outsole, which gives you a great road feel and helps reduce weight. Now we're going to move on to some Mizuno racing shoes. We're going to start with the updated Mizuno Ronin 2. You get a great flash color here with the bright orange and black. Something that the Ronin 2 uses, which is excellent for a racing shoe, is their wave technology in the heel it gives great shock dispersion and excellent road feel and doesn't add any additional weight. This racing flat is a neutral shoe, great for the biomechanically efficient runners. And finally, we've got the Mizuno Musha. The Musha is an update to the Revolver 5. With this shoe, you get an excellent racing flat that offers support for mild to moderate overpronation, nice low profile, and great cushioning from the wave technology. And this shoe is going to be an excellent shoe up to the marathon distance. So that concludes our new product showing for today. Please join us next time here at Running Warehouse.